In part three of the game controls, we're going to be adding in the reward and setting up the score and then a collision with the good guy and the reward. So we want to start off by going to drawing an animation and adding in an image sprite to our canvas. And we're going to rename it reward. And let's add a picture. So under your properties, picture, upload file, choose the file, 506, we're going to go to the App Inventor folder and then Game Controls. And for the reward, it's going to be a 20 by 20 pixel image. I've got this money one on there as well as the cash. Either one will be fine to use or you can make your own. Just do it quickly. Alright, so 20 by 20 pixel JPEG or GIF will work. Once you have that, you want to go to the user interface and we want to set up a clock. Let's rename it Reward Clock. And this is what will move the reward. And for timer interval, we're going to have the reward move every two seconds. So we're going to put it at 2,000 milliseconds. That'll move the reward every two seconds. And we can always go back and we can always go back to our clock and change it if we want it to move faster, but let's just set it at 2,000 for now. We're also going to be adding in a sound. Let's go to media and select sound, drag in that sound component, and let's rename it reward sound. And this will be the sound so that when the money collides or the reward and the good guy collide it'll make the like a cha-ching or a cash register sound so you want to select the reward sound component go to upload file choose file and in the 506 app inventor and then game controls folder we have sounds I'm just gonna select one any of these cash register ones will work you want to upload it there as long as you have a source file, you're good. All right. We are going to set up a screen arrangement for our score and for the reset button. Under layout, you want to take a horizontal arrangement and drag it to the top. And then adjust the width to fill parent. And that'll take up the top part of the screen. We're going to go to user interface and we'll get a label for our score. So we'll drop the label on there. We're going to rename that score label. So the component name will be score label. And then let's change some of the properties. So the text, you want it to say score. And I'm going to move the font size to 20. And I'm going to change the text color to green. There we go. Alright, so those are the components we're setting up of part three. Once you have those set up, let's go to the blocks. And I'm going to right click and collapse the blocks that I have set up already. So I have more room here. Okay, we're going to set up the uh, reward clock timer. So you want to go to reward clock. When the reward clock goes off, and we set it up to go off every two seconds, we want it to move the reward. So we're going to go to our canvas one, select reward. And you want to get the one that says call reward move to. And we've done this before when we did the universal components movement on a timer is what we're doing here. So what we want to get is under math we'll get a random fraction and basically we want to get the multiplication here for both these so I'm gonna do control C and control V and copy and paste and I'll copy and paste this one as well we're gonna take the random fraction and we're gonna multiply it 
uh, by the difference between the canvas width and the reward width. So under math, we'll get subtraction, copy and paste it, and put it into the sockets here. Real important when you do this, on this first block on the, or first socket on the left, we need to put in the canvas width since this is the X. So we'll go to canvas one. You want to scroll down and find the block that says canvas dot width. And we're going to subtract it from the reward dot width. And then over here, we're, we're going to do the same thing, but it'll be the canvas height and the reward height. So you'll select the canvas. Canvas height minus the reward height. And these go in alphabetical order. That should help you. Okay. So right now, if we opened up our emulator, we should see that it is working. You should see that your reward is moving. I'm going to go ahead and pause it while this loads up. All right, so what you, when you get your emulator up, what you should see is that your dollar sign, your reward, is moving around. Every two seconds, it'll move. Mine actually hit my good guy, so it's actually scored it three times. Oh, and it's got the sound working. All right, so here's what we need to do next. You're going to set up, oh, that's nice. I'm going to turn the volume down here. All right, so we are going to set up a global variable. So let's get go to variables here, select this top block. We're going to set the initial global variable to score, and we're going to set, give it a value of zero. So we've set up a variable called score. Its value is zero. We're going to also set up a procedure. And this procedure is going to update the score. So we'll just call it update score. That'll be our procedure. And we're going to go to the score label here. And you want to get set score label text to. And we're going to get it. We're going to go up to um, math here. Or actually text. And you want to get the join button. And we're going to join two things. We're going to join, we're going to get this top one here, and we're going to type in the word score, and we are going to add to the bottom of that. When you hover on over the score, the word score here, you're going to get this block that says get global score. So it's going to combine the word score with whatever the value of the variable is. Once you have that, we need to set up the collision between the reward and the image sprite. So we're going to go to the reward, and you want to open up the blocks for it. So when the reward collides with other, you want it to do this. It's going to set the global score to, so we're going to hover over this. We want to set the global score to, and we're going to get the plus sign. So under math, we'll get the plus block. I'm going to hover my mouse again. So when the reward uh, collides with the other image sprite, it's going to set the global score to the global score plus the value 1. So we need to set up a block, a number block here, with the value 1. We also want it to update the score to call this procedure to happen. So to do that, you need to go to procedure, and you have to get the call update score procedure so that the score will update every time it collides. And we also want it to make a sound. So we're going to go to our reward sound. And we're going to get the one that says call reward sound to play. And when you have that, you should be able to use your arrows and get the reward. And when it touches the reward, it should start adding them up. OK. So I'm at 3. All right. So in part 4, what we're going to do We'll introduce the bad guy, and we'll inter introduce a reset button to reset the score. All right, so once you're done, go ahead and go to part four.